Good evening, Gratitude Baptist Church, and thank you for coming to the God's Book of Life office. So we've had two different lessons. So for our children, we had Do Not Fight. For our adults, well, you're adults too, but there's two sections that we break it down. Because what applied to young adults may not at times apply to the older ones. So it's broken into youth adults and older adults. So for our youth adults, we spoke more on what makes a Christian. And I'm here with the same message for you. So here is what makes a Christian. What makes a Christian is not just going to church. It's not just helping the poor and feeding the poor. But what makes a Christian is how you live in overall and admitting to God that I was dead and you found me. I was lost and you found me. I was dead and you gave me life. Because remember, the Bible says, Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And remember, Jesus has the power to give life through the disciples or himself. Because Jesus saved Lazarus, not the Lazarus as the man that refused to help the beggar and went to Hades and then while the beggar went into Abraham's bosom, but a different Lazarus. And then the disciples healed a lame man according to the Bible. Don't use this as I'm using this um, teenage lingo about lame. Though it's a little outdated. But the Bible did say, tell the story about a lame man healed in Acts chapter 3 verse 1 through 10. So let's look at what makes a Christian. Believing in Jesus is one thing that can make you a Christian. But it's more than that also. It's not just your belief in Jesus. You follow, when you follow the Bible, that also makes you a Christian. So when you become a Christian, you must follow the Bible. You must have love for others and Jesus. And another thing that makes a person a Christian is having faith. Now, faith is the substance of things heard of, but the things hoped for are the, of the things not seen. That would come in as Romans 1, 11, 1. And remember, Hebrew, Hebrews 11, 1, sorry. And then Romans 8, 8, 1 will say, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Sorry, I do not have my Bible, so I'm thinking that I might have gotten those scriptures mixed up. But it's okay. Lord, please forgive me if I got the scriptures mixed up. So that is another thing too. It's human.